Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows when we have a times a, which same thing as a squared. And this same thing multiplying, I write this as 5 raised to the power x or squared equals to 40 from here. Then, yeah, this also follows when we have a raised to the power m, raised to the power m. With the same thing as a raised to the power h m n. And this, this power multiplies, and we have 5 raised to the power 2x equals to 40 from here. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. Here we have log 5 raised to the power 2x equals to log 40 from here. The next step, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log n raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes 2x log 5 equals to log 40 from here. The next step, we divide both sides by log 5. That is, divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5, which implies that log 5 cancel with each other. We have 2x equals to log 40 over log 5. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up, put your comment, and share this video. Then, from here, we can write 40 as 5 times 8. Then what we have becomes 2x equals to log 5 times 8 over log 5. Then we apply the law of logarithm here. When we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here we have 2x equals to log. 5 plus log 8 over log 5. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions. And we have 2x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 8 over log 5. Here we have log 5 cancel each other and 1 left here, which implies 2x equals to 1 plus log 8 over log 5. Then, next step here, we can also express it as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cube. And what we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus log 2 cube over log 5. Watch this video to the end and also subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Now, yeah, we apply the power of logarithm. 3 comes there. What we have becomes 2x equals to 1 plus 3 log 2 over log 5. Then we apply the change of base. And when we have log a over log b, this is the same thing as log a to base b. That is, what we have here becomes 2x equals to 1 plus 3 log 2 base 5. Then here we divide both sides by 2. Divide this side by 2. Also divide this side by 2. That is here to cancel each other. Then we have x equals to 1 plus 3 log 2 base 5 all over 2. That is the value of x here. We have 1 plus 3 log 2 base 5 all over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is. We substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus 
3 log 2 is 5 all over 2. That is what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 1 plus 3 log 2 is 5 all over 2 times also 5 raised to power 1 plus 3 log 2 is 5 all over 2. Is it equals to 40 on this side? Then here we have same base multiplying. Follows on we have a raised to power m times also same power a raised to power m. This can be written as a raised to power m plus m, which is 2m. That is what we have here it becomes 5 raised to power 2 times 1 plus 3 log 2 is 5 all over 2. Is it equals to 40 on this side? Then this power multiplies and 2 here cancelled each other. We have 5 raised to power 1 plus 3 log 2 is 5. Is it equals to 40 on this side? And here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is, this becomes 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power 3 log 2 is 5. Is it equals to 40 on this side? Then 5 raised to power 1, that's 5, then times. Here we reverse this 3 hop on power law. At this we have 5 raised to power log 2 cube base 5. Is it equals to 40 on this side? Then, here we have 5 times 5 raised to power log 2 cube plus 8 and base 5. Is it equals to 40 from here? Then, this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b. That is, we have 5 times 8. Is it equals to 40 on this side? Of course, 5 times 8, that's 40, which is equals to 40 from here. We have left-hand side equals to the right-hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus 3 log 2 base 5 all over 2 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the description bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.